fellow readers, Mrs. Weidman here, and today I'm going to tell you all about this beautifully written historical fiction novel, Echo Mountain, by Lauren Wolk. Um, so this book, since it takes place in history, is set in 1934, and it actually takes place in kind of the backwoods of Maine, which is kind of up in New England, the Northeast United States. Um, but if you didn't know, in 1934, the United States was actually in the midst of the Great Depression, which is a time period when thousands and almost millions of people in the United States had lost everything. They lost their homes, they lost their jobs, they lost a lot of their livelihoods and their money. And so a lot of people found themselves impoverished um, and living really just to survive day in and day out, really over the course of a night or a few months and a few years. So unfortunately for Ellie, the Great Depression did hit her family, right? And she finds herself losing her home in town. And in order to survive, her family spends the last bit of money they have on moving everything they have up onto Echo Mountain and really kind of trying to live off the land, build their own cabin, have their own little small acreage of garden um, where they can grow food. They also learn how to hunt and fish and just really how to survive in the wilderness um, so that they may continue to survive, right, day in and day out. Well, unfortunately for Ellie, the first few years on the mountain, she has loved, even though her older sister has really hated it. She does not take to life on the mountain very well. But Ellie has really found herself thriving. But then a few months before the book takes place, this terrible tragedy again befalls her family. And her father is actually injured in a woodcutting accident, and he finds himself in a coma. And for weeks, over 13 weeks, right, Ellie's father has not woken up. They're very isolated on the mountain. They're told there's nothing they can do except to kind of wait it out. And then one day, Ellie decides that she's going to follow this fire inside of her. She's going to brave. She's going to go to the top of the mountain where this woman named the Hag lives, right? And she's going to kind of see where that journey takes her to see if there's maybe something she can do to not only find herself and really figure out who she is on this mountain, but also see if there's something that she can do for her family and her father um, as well. So if you like historical fiction books, books with action, adventure, really strong protagonists who are learning really about themselves and their place in the world and what it takes to survive, then I recommend Echo Mountain by Lauren Roque for you. Have a great day.